five ways to unfuck your life in 30 days. Brass balls videos dot com. I just completed a close to 20 page downloadable PDF. You can print it off for free. There's nothing to buy. All you have to do is go to brassballsvideos.com, put in your email, you'll immediately get the 20 page PDF that I wrote over the last week. I've never wrote on this topic before. In my unhumble opinion, it's one of the most powerful trainings that I've done. Brassballsvideos.com. Uh, and you can read it on your phone. There's a digital version or you can print it off. Five ways to unfuck your life in the next month. So, uh, Michael McLean, I'm an ex-pro and amateur championship hockey coach turned eight-figure entrepreneur. I'm a husband, a father, community volunteer, entrepreneur my entire life and I shoot these daily ugly iPhone videos uh, and I email them to you every morning at 6 a.m. if you're on my email list you can join my email list also at brassballsvideos.com so what is this training that I've never done before the five ways to unfuck your life in the next month. There are five things, I call them deadly sins. I used to, co I, when I was coaching amateur hockey and, and minor pro hockey, these are the five things that I used to talk to my players about in the first month of the season. I mean, when you're coaching hockey or you're coaching football or tennis or any of these things, great coaches Actually, you spend about 70% of your time on life lessons, life coaching, you know, professionalism, punctuality, how to win, how to lose, that kind of stuff. And these five deadly sins, I used to call them the deadly sins, I would pound into the head of my young players. My young athletes were anywhere age 16 to 21, uh, teenagers, young men. And I also used to share uh, these five deadly sins um, with my minor pro players as well. They were, you know, in their 20s, 30s, uh, young men, husbands, sometimes fathers. And these were the five characteristics, biggest mistakes that I personally made uh, when I was in my teenage years, when I was in my 20s and 30s and even into my 40s, these five deadly sins, if you have these things going on in your life, it's next to impossible to win consistently. You may think, well, I need a, a new marketing plan or I have to build an email list or I need to, you know, go out on, on dates with my wife or I need to lose some weight or I need to, I need to have a better connection with my kids or I need better time management. All that stuff is true and important. But if you get these five deadly sins, if they're, if they're in your life, None of that other stuff is ever going to happen. And I'm thinking of the five deadly sins that I share in that special PDF report. The first one was a, a deadly sin that I learned actually my grandfather who ran a general store for 40 plus years. He literally, like my dad, he worked every day from 7 a.m. till 9 p.m. That's a death dealing 14 hours a day behind the, the till, pumping gas, selling feed, fishing supplies. He did that for 43 years. Every day, 14 hours, except for Christmas. He was closed on one day Christmas. But the one thing that my grandfather would do is he would take a couple of hours every Sunday evening, just a couple of hours, 
And he had this, this employee who would come over for the two hours per week so that he could walk up to the house, which was next door. His house was, was next door to the general store. And he would walk up there and my dad would be there. My mom would be there and us three kids would be there every Sunday night. And they would sit in their lawn chairs. He would sit out there with my dad and they would talk about business, entrepreneurship and politics is the only two hours my grandfather took off per week. And I remember him, we'd be out there, my brother and I throwing the baseball around or playing on the lawn. We were little kids. And I remember almost every week, my grandfather would be talking about business or marketing or the store business. And he would always yell this out to us. You know, you boys, you got two choices in life. Two choices in life. And then he used to, to tell us this deadly sin. So it's, it's one of the ones that's on this list of five. Um, a second deadly sin that I talk about in this, I wrote about in the, in the special report, I was actually uh, writing about this one this morning, is I learned this from Anthony Robbins, uh, Tony Robbins. Back in the day, I'd just been fired from my, my pro head coaching job um, literally, you know, when you're fired in, in minor pro sport, it's a very public thing. It's in the papers, it's online. So I was at home licking my wounds a few weeks after. And I remember like I was, I was down on my luck. My confidence was at an all time low. I was discouraged. I was stressed. I was feeling the pressure. I, I had no idea what to do with the rest of my life. I was in my late 20s. What was I gonna do after this firing? And I took the last $12,000 that I had saved in my, my savings account, and I drained it, all $12,000, and I signed up for Tony Robbins' uh, Mastery Coaching Program in Kona, Hawaii. It was something like a 11 hour flight I, I, I literally drained my account to go to that. That's, the seminar was something like 12 days. Robbins is a lunatic. You go from seven in the morning till 11 p.m. at night. He keeps the temperature in the room like 50 degrees. It's just insane. There's no drinking. It was an all vegetarian diet. I wasn't used to any of that stuff. And he just goes from dawn until almost midnight. And I was so broke after draining my account to go to this event. I remember flying out uh, to uh, Vancouver and then over to Hawaii, about 11 hours. And I didn't even have enough money to stay at the hotel where the event was being held. I couldn't afford to stay there. I mean, so <laughs> here I am, I stayed, I found a cheaper hotel. I walked three miles to the event every day for 12 days. I walked the three miles back at 11 p.m. or midnight, and I went to the local uh, grocery store and uh, supermarket, and I bought bread and cold meats and peanut butter. And that's what I ate in my room. I'd take a, I would take a sandwich with me. I'd have it for breakfast, but I'd eat in my room. I'd take my lunch with me. I'd walk the three miles. And I would, that's how I afford it to go to, to Tony Robbins Mastery Program. This was his highest level event. I wasn't interested in one of those day seminars. This was the one with the 80 foot firewalk. Robin Williams spoke, Michael Jordan was there. Top nutritionists, top health people, top coaches, plus Tony Robbins himself. So I knew that was the place I had to be. And when I went there for the 12 days, it totally transformed my entire life. Like it literally, I wouldn't be walking and talking to you right now um, if I had not attended that 12 day event. It literally gave me the compass for the rest of my life. It wasn't the 80 foot fire walk that I did or any of that nonsense. It was, it was about this one speaker that nobody came to see and he stood up on the stage and he said one thing. He said one sentence that literally, 
literally knocked me on my tail end. I was shocked. I had never heard anybody speak like this. I'd never heard anybody talk like this. And admittedly, for the next 24 hours, I totally disagreed with what this man said. And he stood up there and he literally challenged everybody in the crowd. But I was like, there's no way. I don't believe that. And it was this quote, this one sentence that I still have up today on one of my recipe cards by my desk in my home office. And it's one of the five deadly sins that I write about. I tell the, the story in the, in the special report. So that was a deadly sin. When I got that corrected, that, that mindset shift, and then my behavior shifted after I heard this guy speak at Mastery, it changed the trajectory of my life completely changed. I had, my thinking was all wrong. I thought I was thinking like a winner. I was thinking like a loser. I thought I was thinking like a champion. I was thinking like a chump. And to this day, 30 years later, I've never heard anyone mention this deadly sin. It's not taught anywhere. I've never heard it. I've never heard it stolen. I've never heard one of the gurus or the pretend experts or some fuzzy headed academic try and make it their own, never once. And this is one of the five deadly sins that I talk about in the, in the special report I have for you. Um, when I was coaching junior hockey uh, in university, I was actually, I never went, hardly went to university class because I was being paid full time to coach um, Mr. Dan Hurley was the owner's name, his championship hockey program. So I was, I don't know, 22, 21, 23 years old, and I was coaching full time. And Mr. Hurley was a multi millionaire, cigar chewing, the toughest SOB I ever met in my life, let alone work for. And people would see Dan Hurley company coming and they would cross the street. The guy was five foot six, he was 200 pounds, he was a tank. And he had five championship rings on this hand, the big, big knuckle rings. And he had about three on the other hand. And we used to joke behind his back that the worst thing that can happen in your day is having Mr. Hurley reach out and shake your hand. I've never had my hand shaken so violently by a, by a person, it was, it was incredible. Plus the championship rings. And this guy was insane. And I worked for Mr. Hurley for two years, two of the best years of my life. Um, I loved him, he loved me like a son. Um, wow, and he taught me deadly sin number three. Uh, I would have never learned this from anybody else. Again, there's no book for what you learn from a multi-millionaire like Mr. Hurley. Um, he taught me this, this deadly sin. And up to that point, I was making this mistake all the time. I was making this mistake, so I had no chance to win. And uh, Dan Hurley, he pounded this sin out of me and he helped me unfuck my life. Uh, just like just like the other things if you don't get these right They just drag you down like crabs in a bucket You think you're winning you think you're winning you think you're progressing and you just get pulled back down So that was a really really big one. I share that story in the special report at brassballsvideos.com um, Another one too is I learned this this is what uh, this is what losers do, and this is what winners do not do. It's the number one thing. I mean, there's a lot of characteristics of losing. There's a lot of characteristics of winning. They're polar opposites. But this is the ultimate red flag. This is the ultimate tell, if you will, for you to get the hell away from this person. It's the ultimate red flag that most people would never pick up on that you've got to curate, you got a swift sword, and you got to cut the rope with this person. And as soon as you hear this person, as soon as you hear this said, as, you, as, as soon as you hear somebody talking exactly like this, this deadly sin, 
You got to fire their ass, curate them, whatever it takes. You got to get as far away forever from this person. And it's more than just rat poison or toxic behavior. It's a tell that that person is somebody who's a doubter. They're a non-believer in you. And secretly, secretly, they don't wish you well. And I was taught that one by one of my early mentors. And man, oh man, Mr. Hurley actually mentioned that to me a lot of times. He said, Michael, when you get in a room, he says, put in a, he said, if you had a room of 100 people, 100 people who all, you know, they know each other. And he says, if you ask this one question, this one question of all 100 people in the room, he says 99% will say this, and 1%, if you're lucky, out of 100, the one person will say this. And he says, the 99% that say this, run, run as fast as you can, curate, swift sword, cut the rope. But the one guy or gal, he said, make them a part of your life, make them a friend, and hire them to work for you if that's applicable. Once again, I've never heard this talked about anywhere else. Uh, man, that helped me so much screw my head on straight and really be able to size up people in seven seconds, first impressions, hiring people, recruiting hockey players, who to be friends with, who not to be friends with. That's, that's my Dan, Dan Hurley uh, deadly sin that I talk about. The final one I talk about is, is a combination that I learned from my dad and my grandfather and a couple of other mentors. And I didn't have this one right. I thought I was doing this at a top 1% level. And then I, op I got my eyes open that I wasn't even close. My ladder was against the wrong wall. I thought I was thinking and behaving like a champion when I wasn't even in the same arena. And this deadly sin was the reason that I wasn't getting the results financially. I wasn't getting the results physically. I wasn't getting the results in my personal life. And as soon as I learned this one, this deadly sin, and I started doing the exact opposite, again, Everything transpired, everything transformed for me. Everything transformed for me. So these five ways of unfucking your life, they're harsh, they're truthful, they're crude in a way, but winning doesn't care about any of that stuff. Winning doesn't care about any of that stuff. This is all about how badly you want to win at the next level. And if you want winning to take your phone calls, if you want winning to spend time with you, if you want winning to be a part of your life and your culture, there's no way around these five things. And with all the thousands and thousands of athletes and men and some women entrepreneurs that I've worked with for decades now, even, even teenagers and young adults and pro hockey players and entrepreneurs and small business owners, at least, at least all of them have one or two of these deadly sins going on in their life. And that's the way, that's why you are working with one foot on the gas pedal, balls to the wall, but one foot on the brake. Do you ever get that feeling in your in your personal life? You know, things are rocking and rolling for you in business, but in your personal life, you know, you got one foot on the gas, but you got one foot on the brake. Or maybe everything's going fantastic in your personal life. You're you're in great shape. Your 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 marriage is on fire. You've got a good relationship with your kids, but your business, your marketing, your sales, your employees. You got one foot on the gas, but you also got that one, one foot on the brake. It's stop and go, stop and go. That's because 
one of these five deadly sins is happening in your life. And when you get when you get even one of these one of these ideas fixed, it's transformational. I mean, these five ways that I write about, um, I tell five stories, I give you five real life examples, and none of this stuff was learned in a book. I'm a massive book guy, right? Like I've read over 2,000 books, and I owe my life to books. But these five ways to get your shit together in the next month have nothing or nothing that I learned anywhere else but at the street level, belly to belly, from guys like Tony Robbins, from guys like Dan Hurley, from for, you know from from badasses like my grandfather, um, you know from guys like my dad. Like this is the kind of stuff you're not going to learn in a book. You're not going to learn at most seminars. You're not going to even you know, learn by walking on Tony Robbins fire coals. That's not it. It's, it's these, these off the grid, you know, almost from the wisest people you ever meet. And that's why I felt so that I wanted to write this report and I wanted to offer it free. I'm not charging, I'm not making any money. There's no upsells or any of that stuff. When you go to brassballsvideos.com, you have to put in your email, I'm an email guy. Um, you put in your email and you subscribe to my newsletter um, list. You can unsubscribe if you want. I don't care. It's not going to change my life at all. Then you'll get the special report. It's a PDF. It's the ugliest mangy dog you'll ever... I put it together. There's probably typos. Uh, some of the grammar isn't right. I just put it together because I had that inspiration over the last week. And I said, man, these are the five things that my guys are never going to learn unless they go through the fires that I went through, coaching hockey, losing, getting fired publicly, um, you know, winning. Uh, like, like these are the kind of things you're not going to you're not going to find in another book. So I feel a moral responsibility and to, to share these with people that are on my email list. So that's what I've done. And I enjoyed writing it. I enjoyed producing it. I wanted it to be two pages. It ended up being, I'm just guessing, 18 to 20. I don't know until Mark Andre, my business partner, puts it together. But I believe, in my biased opinion, it's one of the most powerful coaching um, trainings I've ever put together. You can read it whenever you want. I recommend you printing it off and studying it a few times. I'm a paper guy. I'm a tree killer. I'm a global cooling guy. Um, and I and feel free to share it with your queen. Uh, she'll probably find it a little bit harsh um, with your with your with your teenagers or your adult children if they're old enough to to understand the language of winning, uh, or any of uh, your managers, anybody who needs, you know, a shot of fuel, or anybody that's got one foot on the gas and one foot on the brake. Five ways to unfuck your life, to get your shit together in the next 30 days. I put my heart and my soul into this special report you can print it off you can read it you can share it all you have to do is go and join my list at brass balls video videos.com the link is below use the link below if you're already on my righteous email list you don't have to go in and subscribe if you do that's okay but i'll send this to you later in the week i'll email this to you later this week. If you can't wait, go in and subscribe again. Brassballsvideos.com, the link is below. I'd love for you to rep uh, reply back to uh, Mark Andre or one of the emails that I send you and let me know what you think of these five deadly sins. Are they helpful? I just think if you can tackle one of these or two of these, 
it's just going to completely transform the results in your life in air, any area you want. And if you have these things hanging around or haunting your life, these, these deadly sins, it's one of the reasons you're not getting the top 1% results you want. And then you'll be like, wow, I just need it to shift that mindset. I just need it to make that habit shift. I just need it to hear and read um, that sentence. And that's the way it was with me when I learned these, these five so-called inner secrets. Brassballsvideos.com, my free gift to you. As my dad said the other day on the phone, he said, son, he goes, keep hanging in there. The best is yet to come. I could not agree more. Two words that changed my life. Two words that'll change yours. Be relentless.